I'm Darlene Wiley. I'm Professor of Voice here at UT Austin, and uh, I'm the founding director of the Butler Opera International. It turns out that we have a wonderful symphony orchestra, the Round Rock Symphony, Stephen Sanders conductor. And then we have wonderful recording facilities here at UT. And I kept thinking over the years, many of our voice students need professional recordings for their websites, for their advertisements. And so what we've been doing is thinking up ways to combine the recording, professional recordings, the use of the Round Rock Symphony, and our singers here at UT. And we came up with the idea of the Butler Opera International. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Robert Desimoni. I'm the director of the Butler Opera Center, and my association with the Butler International Competition stems from a collaboration with my colleague, Professor Darling, Darling Wiley, um, and the decision that it would be something very unique. It is the first year of this particular international competition, and the idea of bringing together so many young people from around the world into a city like Austin which has a very high profile of music in general, uh, more specifically the classical arts, uh, I think makes it relevant, makes it important, and of course the whole element of the finals, the final concert, uh, prizes that may be going with the competition. We had our trial run last summer. And what it accomplished was really quite wonderful. The Round Rock Symphony is expanding, and our voice professionals who have just graduated have their recordings, and they can market themselves with these recordings. My name is Ellie Jarrett Shadows, and I am completing my DMA in opera performance at the University of Texas. And I was the mezzo young artist for the Butler International Competition this past summer. A really great part of this experience was that we received these wonderful quality videos of our singing and our acting in Bates Recital Hall. And when I received my DVD, I was really excited because all of it is usable. The sound quality is perfect. You can hear the orchestra right, you can hear the singing right. And the great news is that it can be edited for me, for my, my own uses. For example, I sang Carmen, I got to sing the Habanera, which went really well, and it is just a perfect excerpt that I'm gonna send to conductors and opera companies and whoever else I can. I'm Julia Taylor, and I'm a DMA opera performance student here at UT. I was the soprano soloist with Butler Opera International this past summer. As a young artist, we don't usually have a lot of funds to spend on media and advertising and that sort of thing, but it's so important for us. And um, you have your website and you want to share the best quality of your singing that you can. And this was an opportunity for me to sing some really uh, great repertoire and have it recorded so that I can use it on my website and share it. What this does for a young singer, of course, giving them the opportunity to sing with an orchestra is always something that is very important, particularly for a career recognition. The idea of a competition, first and foremost, of course, is just that. It's a sense of uh, competing. <clears throat> In this case, bringing young singers internationally uh, to Austin, to the Butler School of Music, well, where they compete with each other, not only for maybe a few prizes of some sort, but also to understand and know the international quality of other singers and a kind of humanitarian aspect to this program. It would be the very first, uh, certainly in the Austin area, and maybe one of the very first international voice competitions in the state of Texas. 